You know what? It's the half of 2019. I don't want another motherfucking nigga to offer to take me out to eat. To take me to the movies. To take me nowhere. Unless y'all fucking asking me, can y'all pay my motherfucking bills? Straight up. You want me to give you my time. You want me to come through kill. You want me to get my motherfucking hair done. My makeup done and everything else. Just to come out and go on a motherfucking date. And we ain't talking about no bills. Okay? Real men get time from me. Real men get the fuck with me. Because real men pay bills. You little motherfucking boys want to take a bitch out to eat, take a bitch to the movies. I don't want to do that 2019. The only thing I want from a nigga is my bills paid. Straight up. We can't do nothing else but that. I'm trying to secure the bag. And the motherfucking bag can be secured if we're sitting at a... <laughs> Look, we got to stop this, man. I mean, come on now. All of this egotistical begging disguised as high standards, because that's all it is. You know, I don't care how she frame it. It's just another way of saying, I'm cute, so please give me some spare change. Which, by the way, does not give me hot girl summer vibes. It gives me hot girl peddler vibes. And you know what? If you need some charity because you've fallen on hard times, just say that. Ain't nobody judging you for that. I know I'm not. But don't go throwing around all of this real man rhetoric because no man will tolerate you long enough to get to the point where he's willing to help you pay your bills. And I think it's interesting how whenever a man says uh, he don't like a woman with weave or makeup or, you know, that gets work done on her body, et cetera, et cetera, we can all agree that the things that a woman does aesthetically to herself are not for the approval of a man. Cool. Until a Mrs. GoFundMe comes along pleading for a donation, then all of a sudden, all of these things are strictly for a man. Like, you shouldn't need to go on dates for you to take pride in the way that you look, in whatever way that you choose to. Nor should you need to be going on dates for you to keep your light bill paid. You need to do that anyway because you're an adult. That's like you blaming a man for the time and the energy that it took for you to wash your ass before you went out to go see him. Like, what? If it wasn't for you dating, what would you be doing? And then two, what are you going to go back to doing once you're no longer dating because you're in a relationship with a man? But let me guess, if that man leaves you because you're not doing those things that you were once doing in a dating phase, he didn't know your worth. <laughs> no, I don't care if you're talking about a real man, a fake man, a mascot, a blow up doll. Any man with common sense is going to avoid a woman like this, not because he don't know her worth, but because he knows that she's not worth the headaches that she brings anybody around her that doesn't have earplugs. Talking about, I'm trying to secure the bag. No, sweetheart. You need to secure some class and need to go get a job or start a business like real women do. Ha, 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 ha.